Hello and uh, welcome to uh, JewishTV.media. This is the seventh in our series on happiness. You know, one of the uh, things that really bothers us is that we have worries. What human being doesn't have worries? How are we supposed to be able to overcome our worries and uh, be happy? Of course, if we have bitachon, I explained last time, it goes a long way. But sometimes, even with bitachon, we can't get the thought out of our mind. And let me just say over here that the first thing is do whatever you can to get negative thoughts out of your mind. And the way you get the negative things out of your mind is not by forcing them out of your mind but by rather focusing on something else. If you're a spiritual person the thing you should focus on is get into learning Torah. Study a little bit of Torah. Put your mind and heart into it. You won't have time to worry. If you're not that spiritual, you don't, uh, or Torah doesn't do it for you all, to all that much, then focus on a hobby. Find yourself something interesting to do. The main thing is to be able to, what we call in Hebrew, be Messiah Dat, to be able to take your mind off it. But what happens after, after all of that, you just can't take your mind off it. What are you supposed to do then? So the Talmud says, ish that if you've got a worry in your heart, then you should talk about it to others. What does talking to others help? Well, talking to others helps on a, a number of levels. First of all, talk to another person. The person may give you some insight and clarity that you didn't have yourself. He's able to help you look at things from another perspective. You know, we all kind of look at things from our own limited perspective. Speak to another person, there's another guy there. He helps to be able to broaden your horizon and look at it from a different kind of way. You know, Chassidim used to say that when two Jews sit together, that it's uh, two good inclinations against uh, one bad inclination. In other words, the two goods in each of them come together to be able to challenge the bad. So, he may have insight for you that you haven't found in yourself. Another advantage of talking to other people is just by merely articulating the issue, you can find clarity yourself. Sometimes the reason why you don't have that clarity is just you're going over the thing again and again and again in your mind. When you have to explain it to someone else, you have to actually articulate it, you have to express it clearly and properly. You, after all, you want to communicate, you want the other person to understand. And in the process of getting the other person to understand, you yourself gain deeper insight into uh, the problem you have and perhaps you're able to solve your own problem. The third advantage of sharing with other people is that the other person, by listening to you and empathizing with you and holding on to you, metaphorically, shows you love. And that love actually helps you and gets you over the immediate worry. The biggest problem most of us have is that we're feeling lonely and alone. Speak to another person, that other person shares with you, you share with him, and as a result of that you feel stronger, because of the love that emanates between you both. Until next time, be happy.